Hey, good morning. How are we doing? How do I look? I had to dress myself today because my entourage isn't here. I have no idea where they were. I had to get myself all fixed up too. Do I look all right? I gotta look good. I have to look fantastic because you people look fantastic. You are beautiful people. How many of you know all God's people are beautiful? Hey, let's start out today by saying this. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Say it. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Do you believe that? If you believe that, it'll work in your life. It will happen in your life. Your rest of your life absolutely will be the best of your life. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the fact that nothing else matters but the blessing of God. Nothing else matters but the blessing of God. How many of you can actually have faith in the blessing of God? I do. I do. I have faith that the blessing of God upon my life will see me through, will pay all my bills, will cause favor to happen in my life. The blessing of God. Folks, I'm telling you, there's nothing the blessing of God won't do for you. I want to show you something here. Now, all this is in this book, The Blessing. I know most of you, or a lot of you, have read this book. But if you haven't, Please go to Amazon. You can have it in two days. It'll be there in two days. What is it? $8.95, $9.95. Be the best money you ever spent. I want to show you something here. We're talking about nothing else matters but the blessing. And we have to, you have to go to Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26 to really get a feel for this and to get a hold of it. Genesis chapter 26 says, it says, there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac was living in that famine with his family. Isaac went to Abimelech, the king of the Philistines, and he told him, he said he was going to take his family and go down into Egypt. But God, God said, no, you stay here. Now, you have to understand what God is telling him. He is telling him to keep his family there during a famine. You know what a famine means? It means no rain. No, he had herds. He had cattle. He had sheep, he had goats, donkeys, ox, lots of them. He had to feed these things and water them. And there was no rain. There was no water. There was no food. And even his family didn't have enough to eat. And God says, stay there? Hello? Does that make any sense to anybody? Does it make any sense to anybody? No. It doesn't make any sense. But God's word doesn't always make sense to you when he tells you to do something. It doesn't have to. Because God's word is always right, even though it doesn't always make sense. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. It means don't try to figure this out. If you try to figure it out, it won't make any sense. I'll tell you, there's other things in God's word that don't make any sense. Jesus said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall people give unto your bosom. That makes no sense to me at all. When, when you give, Jesus said you would have more. Where I come from, when you give, you got less. But I have found over the years 
that the more I give, the more I get. Doesn't have to make any sense. Doesn't have to make any sense. But God's word is true. The more you try to figure this out, the less sense it will make to you. I don't even try to figure this out anymore. I just believe what it says. Amen. I mean, it just makes my life so much easier if I will just believe what it says. How about that? Just believe what it says. Now, Isaac tells Abimelech, I'm going to go. Now, look what God says to him. Look what God says to him. God says to him, he says, don't go down into Egypt. Stay here. Journey, sojourn in this land. Walk around. I will be with you, and I will bless you. Whoa! If you stay here, even though there's a famine, I will bless you. Don't try to figure this out. God told me to do something once that didn't make any sense to me. He says, go to the party. There'll be a certain woman there. Have her pray for you and I will heal you. Now, I'm surrounded by people with faith. Why in the world would I have to go to a party and find this certain woman and ask her to pray for me, for God to heal me? Why, why would I have to? Does that make any sense to anybody? But I did it. I did it. I had faith for healing. I was surrounded by people who have faith for healing. But God told me to do it a certain way. I said, okay. I did not question him. I did not question him. I did not fuss. I shut up. I never said another word. I went to the party that night. I found that woman. I said, I have a kidney stone. Pray for me. Boom! I was healed. Just do what God said. If God speaks to you and tells you something, do it. Now, you got to know it's God talking to you. He has to talk to you inside your belly in an audible voice. Or you can read it in his word. If you read it in his word, that's the same as him saying it to you. Amen. He told Isaac, stay here. I will bless you. Now, look what else he says to him. Look what else he says to him. He says, and I will give you all these countries and I will perform the oath that I swore unto Abraham, your father. I'm going to do for Abraham what I'd done for you. But you got to stay here during the famine. And he did. He didn't question it. He didn't fuck. Well, why do you want me to stay here? And Pastor Jim, when's this going to happen? And how am I going to do this? And, and when do I have to do for this? And where am I, what about over here? And what about over there? And I need this by next week. And I need that. And look. Isaac didn't do none of that. I call all that fussing. He didn't fuss. He just did it. And he planted Verse 13, he sowed in that land. Now, that makes even less sense than anything else. Why would you plant seeds in the land when there's no rain and, there's, and, and you're in a famine? Does that make any sense to anybody? But God had said he would bless. And when God says he will bless you, that means all the works of your hand. Remember what he says? He all, all in Deuteronomy 28, he says, I will bless everything you put your hand to. Isaac didn't have Deuteronomy 28 to read. He was 400 years earlier than that. But he sowed seeds. He planted. And he reaped a hundred 
fold crop. Now you tell me why all this happened. Because Isaac was obedient to God's word. Because once God said, I will bless you, nothing else mattered. Nothing else mattered. All of a sudden, the famine didn't matter. Now you have to understand, not only was Isaac in the middle of a famine, he was surrounded by Philistines who were the arch enemy. And they got to the point where they became afraid of him. They envied him because he became so rich and powerful right in the middle of them. And you know why he did? Because nothing else matters but the blessing. It doesn't matter what your education is. It doesn't matter who your parents are. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter where you come from. Nothing else matters when the blessing of God comes upon you. I'm telling you what, people, nothing else matters. You are going to be blessed abundantly. You're going to live a stress-free, blessed, debt-free, abundant life because nothing else matters. Nothing else matters but the blessing. Oh my goodness. If you need help with this, please call me. I know how to get the blessing to come upon people. God showed me how to do this. I did it with myself and my family. I did it with my church. I do it with all my partners. I know how to get the blessing to come upon people. And I have faith in the name of Jesus to do it. And I'm telling you what. Thousands of people's lives have been changed because of this. Glory to God. Once this blessing comes upon you, I'm telling you what, in six months to a year, your whole life will be different. It doesn't matter where you live. doesn't matter where you work. doesn't matter what's going on in your family. Nothing else matters but the blessing of God. When that blessing comes upon you, he will bless you going in and bless you coming out. You'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be above and not beneath. He will bless all the work of your hand. He will bless everything you touch. You will be like a tree planted by the water and whatever you do shall prosper. We'll get the spirit of wisdom into your life too. You won't make mistakes. Glory to God. Is this good? Huh? Oh my good. Tell everybody you know about these videos, please. Share these videos. Share this with everybody. I want everybody to have God's blessing. I want everybody to be blessed. I want everybody to have, and there's no reason for anybody to be sick or broke because we know how to get the blessing. We know how to get you healed. We know how to get the blessing to come upon you. We know how to get your bills paid. We know how to do all that. And if you need help with any of that today, please call me. And we will get the blessing of God upon your life. Hey, when you uh, tithe or make a donation to this ministry, please call me because I want to speak the blessing over you at the same time. Glory to God. Share these videos with everybody you know. The more people you share it with, the more people are going to get blessed. Amen. Hey, go out there today and have a great day. Make it a wonderful day. And remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. And the rest of your life is the best of your life. And God will bless you in everything that you do.